Hi guys, it's been so long. Welcome to my channel. Anyways, I'm back though, and I'm back with an elegant looking wedding dress. So it's just clean and it has a plunging neckline and some structural details. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to say I'm now taking orders for wedding dresses, custom made wedding dresses. So for all you brides out there, if you'd want to make your wedding dresses, you could like email me because I'm taking orders. Alright, so this is our sketch now and we're going to execute this. Oh, by the way, that's the lace I'm using on the dress. Oh, let me just say, the fabrics I'm using is just satin and lace. Okay, here I'm just draping. As you all know, I really love draping. And I love to see what I'm making in 3D form. For dresses especially. I mean for things like coats, trousers and blazers. I can like directly draft a pattern for that. But for delicate garments such as dresses, I really want to see it in 3D form. So I can know how it looks, you know. I can just like draft it blindly on a paper. Well, that that's that's how I was. So this is just like a princess line, a simple basic princess line uh, dress. All right, now I'm copying it onto paper. Now this is how I like to work. You don't have to do your stuff like this, but like this is how uh, it works for me. So I'm just adjusting whatever I draped and copy it on my paper. Uh, to my model's body size. So I measured her and I'm just like making the adjustments. This dress is mermaid shape by the way. Just cutting my fabric here. Oh yeah, before I forget to mention, uh, I used interface or fusible. Uh, in my yeah oh, okay I'm out of words anyways <laughs> I'll explain that later uh, so I'm just making the ruffle here and it's a spiral and here I'm just measuring to make sure it's equal because it has to be equal but it wasn't that equal though but it has to be equal yeah so as i was saying before i used uh, interface fabric to make it like structured so that's what gives it the structure yeah, I'm just sewing whatever I cut. I'm just sewing and joining everything together. And 
just doing my sleeves, long sleeves, sewing them together also. Okay, so this is my ruffle. I cut it in two layers and then ironed a fusible or an interface fabric on one side and then I'm just sewing it together. So, yeah. So like it's two of those, sewing it together and then flipping it over. Alright, so this is the dress, the basic uh, dress, sewing the sleeves in here. Alright, so I'm just doing the ruffled, the structured ruffle detail here, pinning it and then uh, for the top part, I am hand stitching it but then for the bottom part where the slit starts I'm going to sew that with a machine with my sewing machine so the hand stitch work is just on top all right now I'm stitching it It's just like the lining work, basically sewing whatever you sewed outside again, but this time with the lining fabric. Still finishing work and and stitching the lining area, the neck part. Alright, so I inserted my lining before applique, but you could do it the opposite way. Applique before uh, adding your lining or doing the finishing. Anyways, it works whichever way. Alright, so I really wanted this dress to look elegant and clean. So uh, I strategically placed the appliques uh, on some certain areas. I didn't want to put everything all over. I really love this lace. By the way, you guys ask me, I see in the comment section sometimes where I buy my fabric. Um, I buy them in Istanbul. The fabrics there are good. And here I'm just hand stitching. By the way guys, I'm hand stitching on the top layer only, trying not to like hand stitch or like get the needle through the lining that's inside. We don't want like a messy finishing. I hope you guys got a thing or two and anyways here's my model and shout shout out to Karen on you uh, the makeup artist follow her on Instagram guys and also follow my model she has a YouTube channel Diane Rosset anyways this is like the finish uh, look Thank you so much for watching my videos and more videos are coming. I promise I'll be consistent. It just takes a long time filming and 
putting the videos together i know anyways enjoy bye for too long